All right. So today we're gonna to play some Grixis Delver. We're gonna do a couple changes. We're first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try a list with Stifle in it. It Stifle's been like my favorite version part of the rug deck. Like I actually really like Stifle right now. I think it's I think the mana denial aspect of Delver is just it's still really important. Um, the problem is the green threats aren't that good. Um, but my friend Lawrence, uh, Lawrence Harmon, was playing around with Dark Confidant in a Delver deck and. It's kind of running back to like years ago when Jim Davis used to play Dark Confidant in his bug deck. So put Dark Confidant in this deck. I played the deck this morning and went nine and one with this. Like the bobs were just great against all the combo decks uh, and the control decks. It just kind of like sat, like it either sat there and drew you a bunch of cards uh, to find your interaction against uh, combo decks or just ground control decks in the dust. So besides that, it's pretty straightforward. Our Bobs can get a little scary because we've got, you know, six big hitters, but it's kind of what you got to do with Bob. Um, against your combo decks, they're not pressing your light total, so it doesn't really matter. Um, in the fair matchups, especially when they have Plow, they can, you can gain the life if you do get hit to help mitigate this a little bit. I, kinda, I tried to address this a little bit in the sideboard. Like, I played one Jet in the board to kind of help with my Wimpy 2-1s, but also, like, incidentally gain life if I need to. But, yeah, I've, I've liked this deck a lot. So, we're going to run this through a league and give it a whirl. Billy Boy! Give me one second. I have to just check on, make sure I can see my dog. Hey, Phil. Come. Come. Good boy. My dog got, uh, Philly got neutered a couple days ago, so he's got to, uh, we have to watch him just to make sure he doesn't lick his stitches. But he's pretty good besides that. <clears throat> Alrighty. What well, says we're supposed to go here? Okay. Okay, so what do we got? We have a pretty medium hand all the way around. But I don't think I can mulligan this. So I got to brainstorm lands to cast it. We could get locked, but we have a force and a stifle, so hopefully we can play. Um, hopefully we can like stifle them out of something here to kind of catch us up. Our hand a little awkward to say the least, but all right. Land go is nice. That fixes us with our color issues. So I might stifle a wasteland here if my opponent goes for that. All right, we're gonna let this go. This makes me think they're a combo deck, or like a way better Delver player than I am. One of the two. There's no real in between with the whole end of end of uh, end of turn brainstorm. Like they're either really good or really bad. Oh, I'm gonna stifle this. Get that out of my face. <clears throat> and like people just aren't ready for it. Like they don't like they see underground sea, they don't play around that card. And we just like I think we just locked their brainstorm, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we just locked their brainstorm, which is nice. So because they play Lotus Petal, I'm not gonna play around days. They could spell pierce this, but oh and now we're brainstorm locked. Maybe I was supposed to do nothing this turn. Um Put a land back, put the true name on top of it. I guess the true name's my best pitch card, but... <clears throat> that sucks we got Brainstorm block there, but... Such is life. I think we're playing against Storm, but, like, Storm wouldn't play Arid Mesa, so we're probably playing against, like, Show and Tell. Our hand's pretty good against Show and Tell. I would like to spell pierce something so that I could have so I can play true name and have force and days if I need to. I think I'm just gonna spell pierce this. I think because we locked the last one, there's like spell piercing this is good. Like they missed the land drop. Well, they haven't missed the land drop yet, but okay, so they have land drop. Okay, so maybe that was aggressive. But I kind of wanted to free my mana up this turn so that I could have Force plus Blue Card plus True Name Nemesis, and then uh, Days. And like, 
I just gotta. I think I have to jam. I think I have to get a thread on the board. Just start to turn the heat up a little bit. I really don't want to have to pitch this brainstorm because my card underneath is a uh, right of flame. Okay. Thank you, sir. Wearing my have my unbuttoned flannel going on. I'm gonna let this go. Ruby medallion. Red spells you cost cast one less to play. I don't think that I care about this. Like I think I think we we're at the point where we can let them have all their mana. We just want to hit all the gas that we can. Manamorphose. I really don't want to have to force anything here. Like, I do not want to force anything. So I think we're just going to let this go. Ponder. All right, you can ponder. I would be a little more aggressive with because I, I want to get something out of my days. But I might not end up getting anything out of it. Like, if they go Seeding Song and I get to days, that'll be the nut. Choose to shuffle. Okay. They still can't tendrils me, so I'm I'm gonna just I don't know how this deck wins. I probably should not let them get to three mana because of empty the warrens. That that's good. So I might I might actually get aggressive and forcing something that makes mana. Okay, well we're gonna daze that. Get dazed. And now we're going to look for, we're going to attack, brainstorm, and then look for a wasteland. Wasteland ponder, like, days would be the nut here. I have no idea. Wow, that was not good. All right, well, let's put these back. Play our bob in the hope that we get there. There's no real reason to brainstorm. Do you think that... Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, they've only got two cards. I guess it's tough for them to... It's tough for them to out. I, just, I was worried my true name wasn't a quick enough clock. But I guess I guess I, I shouldn't have worried about that. Is what you're saying there, Lawrence? Because like, it would be nice to hit this. Was it just like an empty... For six goblins, pass and flame. See, yeah, now I tossed it. Yep, you're right. Now I tossed it. Yeah, we'll just F6. So now I just have to hope. I mean, they get to dig a million cards here. Like, they get to make enough blue mana to where they can pawn. They can cast each one of their cantrips. So they're going to kill me here. And I just... Yeah, I should have... Yep. Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> yep, 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 yep. How does this deck win? If they win they, I'm assuming this deck wins with Empty the Warrens. Right? I think I don't really know a lot about I don't really know what exactly my opponent's playing. They win with tendrils. What's ETW? And empty the warrants, okay. Hey, Phil! No. Can't lick your stitches, bud. I thought it has seven cards in hand. I guess they're mid-brainstorm. They have five cards. That doesn't feel a lot better. Desperate Ritual. Alright, so how do we win? We just, like, don't? Because they're just going to cast enough spells to uh, Grape Shot us to the moon. Because they can just do all this over again. Burning Wish. Let's just see how they win. Yeah, I tossed this. I just thought, like, the true name wasn't enough and I would find what I needed with Brainstorm. And I just didn't. So. 
That was that was my fault. 18. The cast burning wish. Okay. I'm not gonna make them put it on the stack. Just have them show me that they can beat me. I'm not gonna make them click through it. Oh, that's annoying. But it's my fault. <clears throat> so I would assume these are good. Pyroblast is likely good. Electricery, assume that I want these. Then Cage is like pretty solid as well. Cards that are not good. True name's kind of slow. My and then my bolt effects aren't that great. I could leave in one true name and then go seven for seven. I lose a little bit of speed if I cut all my bolts. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> yeah, I mean I tossed it. I just thought like I was like, oh, this brainstorm will do me right, you know. I think this is what I want to do. Like, I could bring in a braid to hit the ruby, but I don't really know how worth it that is. That seems pretty narrow. Like, maybe, what if they bring in, like, Magus of the Moon? Is that, like, at all reasonable for them to do? Whoop. I could cut this and then bring in one of these. Because it hits both the Ruby and if they play Megas to the Moon. I have no idea what my opponent's deck list looks like. So, like, I don't think this card's very good. It's just a little slow. I'm just going to try this. Just to be, like, at a right field, I guess. I have, like, Trickery and this. We have, like, three answers to Megas, so maybe that's not good. I've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 18, 22, 26 blue cards. Okay. I could side out a land also. Because like, I, I cut my. I don't have any true names. Alright. I would like to play first. I kind of want to keep this hand. So I've got a ponder. A wasteland. But I need interaction. It's like am I playing my if I'm playing this hand, I'm playing my Delver on one. Nah. I can just trust this ponder is gonna do it for me. I'm gonna keep. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep, then we're gonna see a brainstorm, and then we're gonna go to town. And if we if we like if we get past the first initial wave of disruption, this Bob will clean the game up. And we have a wasteland, like we're on the play, so like I don't know. Like if, if they kill me on turn one, they kill me on turn one. I don't really think that's gonna happen, but if it if it does, it does. <clears throat> How's it going, Shadow? My opponent put a card on the bottom as well. I'm going to waste that. They're brainstorming on. So this means like I'm either really close to dead or they don't want this spell pierced. How's fighting? I, I don't really worry about that. Like if I if I streamed for if I streamed for like a living, I would worry about that, but I'm not super worried about. Fighting with a Pro Tour. No, oh, Tilt. So I think I'm Wastelanding 100%. So let me just do this. All right, we found a Daze. We can flip to Spell Pierce and then hold Spell Pierce. So let's go like this. No, Waste this. Come on, Wasteland. Get in there, bud. A flip there would have been nice. <clears throat> but. Um, it hasn't really impressed me, though I haven't played it. I've only played against it. 
ancient tomb, lotus petal, okay? Nothing, interesting. All right, so I'm going to attack, and then I'm going to play another Delver. We know this one's going to flip, providing we don't have to fetch, which would be nice. I think if the, my opponent cracks this to... I really want to spell here some Brainstorm if they'd have gone that end of turn. Like, I think they have a Brainstorm where they pause like that. I played all. I played pretty much all the standard decks. My favorite one is the Drake deck, so that's the one that I like to stream because it's it's easier for me to play. Playing and streaming can sometimes be difficult. All right, so let's get in here first. I'm not going to play a land because pondering into a wasteland would be gas. Though I do think I'm going to fetch. So that if I hit a spell that I want to play, I can play it without fetch landing. Or fetching, excuse me. And I don't think I'm going to play Bob this turn, but I might want to like, well, no, I'm going to go off of this. because there's, I guess there's a world maybe where we play Bob where we can find a force. Draw this. I guess I play Bob because now... Because I would like to have Spell Pierce plus Force plus Days, but how much different is... If I play Bob, I have Lethal on the table and I make them go for it. Well, if if you play if you play Bob and then they, they tap Ancient Tomb, they're dead, right? But I guess if they play Bob, tap Ancient Tomb, they can't play Bob again. They can't, uh, they can't tap Ancient Tomb again because they'll be at 8. Yeah, so we'll just wait. Yeah. Because basically they can only use this once for the rest of the game. And it doesn't matter if... I mean, if they use it and then this is in play versus them double stone rating themselves. And we have another force on top, which is nice. Well, maybe nice, like... If I get another 4-1, then I'm qualified for the month, the quarterly championships. That's the goal of this stream. Get a 4-1, qualify for the quarterly event. I'll be qualified in Modern and Legacy. And I probably will not qualify in Vintage or Popper, because I hear the Popper ones take forever. And I don't know enough about Vintage. I think I'm just going to pierce this. So what do they need? They need to find land plus rituals. I think I spell pierce this. Before they play like a bunch of stuff. and Because like if they spell pierce this, it effectively taps them out. And then I can spell pierce the, or I can force or daze the first thing that makes mana. I guess. I just don't want them to like brainstorm into something that overpowers me with the amount of mana they could have, but I, I don't I don't know what that could be. Yeah, I guess we'll just wait. I guess part part of my problem with playing against decks like these is that like I get nervous about what they could have, and I think like they have outs that can like I think it's probably because I get smacked by storm so often that they like have brainstorms that get into combinations of cards like that have discard spells that pick apart what I'm doing. We can't have S and T card double force. S and T. What do you mean by S and T? Shit. 
Yeah, we're not playing against Show and Tell. We're playing against like the Ruby Storm deck. Unless they sideboard into a Show and Tell deck. Yeah, that, that, that's why I was a little more worried about it because I didn't know exactly what they're capable of. And I think for the same reason we didn't spell Pierce last time, we don't spell Pierce this time. Yeah, no, that's why I was nervous. I was more just nervous because I don't know what's going on. So what happens? They've already played a land. So if I spell Pierce plus Days, it taps this and kills them. Which I kind of want to do. Ponder. Yeah, their ponder is the best one. I think I'm gonna I want to spell Pierce this. Yeah, I kind of want to like spell pierce this because they pay for it and then I can force I think pierce is better than days is good. Yeah, I think I'm going to pierce this. Cuz I don't want to get my delvers. This is one, two spells, three, four. They would need, if I, they would need Lotus Petal. What if I just force it? The problem is, I guess I still, like, whatever. If they can't use this on this turn, then it's like a double Wasteland. I'm just going to, I have a, another Force of Will on top of my deck. Okay. Oh. I get so nervous playing against these combo decks. And I think I played out this Bob. Just because, like, I doubt they can storm enough to kill three creatures. I'm just going to play it out. I don't think them seeing the Bob really matters. They might be able to like power me through a grave shot here. I think I just forced it. I just spell pierce this. And then if they have Lotus Petal into more stuff, then like good on them. Okay, so on the draw, my stifle package gets a little worse on the draw, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to just bring in like a couple bolts just to bring in a couple bolts. To like kind of stifle and bring in like an abrade to maybe hit another one of those ruby things or hit a pedal and they don't want it to. But all that might just be too cute. It might just be fine to just hit submit. I think it killed, they killed me with Grave Shot in game one. I just didn't, I didn't have a, I, I stifled a land when I didn't know what they were doing. I think I'm just going to submit. Like, there's no need to, like, even though the stifles are worse than the draw, you have the point where it just, like, beats their combo. Oh, well, we're going to mulligan this one.
Alright, and pretty solid. That's gotta be okay, right? Or do I want to find counter spells? They're a past in flames deck. And they're a right of flame deck? Yeah, let's put this on top. And we'll probably just hold up stifle slash brainstorm. Whoa. Ruby medallion. Okay. That could make things difficult. Don't 5 0 without me. I only had 4 1. If I 4 1 this league, I'll be really happy because then I'll be qualified. I think I'm stifling this if they fetch. I don't think I'm EOT fetching. Though I could. Oh, that's a nice draw. <clears throat> I don't think. I think maybe I'm just saving this stifle. I think because I can play another land and go nuts, I think this stifle might just have the storm trigger written on it. That stifle would have been much better if they didn't lead on, like, you know, big land cost reducer. But the nice thing is if my opponent, like, puts a, like, puts a Metamorphos on the stack. No, not even a Metamorphos. My opponent puts, like, a, uh, somehow, like, gets a Brainstorm on the stack. I can Surgical. Okay. That is annoying. <clears throat> I'm going to end a turn brainstorm, I think. Empty. Okay. So now we stifle the storm trigger. I don't think that we're going to get enough, like, I don't think we can get enough to beat this, um, to be like to get the pyramids are wide enough to to keep up with these. We have four other three other cycles in our deck. Nice. I'm just gonna pass. They might have another one because they like went off so quickly. So like if my opponent starts to put a bunch of rituals on the stack, I might just surgical this empty. And it will at least give me more information about what's going on. Yep, you got it, opponent. I'm going to end a turn brainstorm, I think. Yeah, well, you got it, dude. Yeah, I'm going to end a turn brainstorm just to, like, free up my... Just to use my man. I don't think I need to get a lot of value off my brainstorms here. Okay, so let's put back... Probably just put back double days, play Delver. Because, like, the days aren't going to do anything. Surgical might do something, because, like, the days is because of the rubies. And then, like, this Delver's going to flip next turn. We get in here with this. Like, this day, the only thing this day does is make a 1-1. One, one. That's basically it. So, <clears throat> if I let this resolve, they just empty for four tokens, which is kind of tough. 
Maybe I should just surgical this just to get it out of here. I think I'm going to. So I think this is a very good way for them to like get ahead here. Or they can just like mini, you know, like, like Storm and Modern does, where they just like mini and they like keep ahead of you that way. Okay, so let's get these out. Take a picture. I thought they would have more of those, like the Modern Storm deck is. I just figured there'd be more of them. Okay, so let's look here. So re what does this do? Until the end of turn, whenever a player casts an instant sorcery spell, that player copies it and they choose new targets for it. Reforge soul. This costs three, so one, two, three, and they have one up. Yeah, I can't do anything. So we're just gonna let this resolve. And then if they give us a whole set brand new set of cards, then we'll just I think the Reforge is both players. I, I didn't look at that. I actually don't know. So I'm going to go Reforge the Soul, right? Each player, each player discards their hand and draws seven cards. All right, so I might as well daze this. Oh. Okay, let this go. Yeah, thank you for sending that. Each player draws his or her hand. And I don't think I'm just going to cast this to make a token because I would like to be able to wheel into two spells to interact here. So if we surgical, they have passed in flames, seething song, right of flame. They have no, how else do they win? Where is it? Oh, it's the burning wishes. Okay. So if we encounter and take out a burning wish, they're dead. All right, nice. Yeah, thank you for shipping that over. I appreciate that. We can win. I'm just going to brainstorm, find like a spell pierce or something. Or another days. Or I could just force this, but I don't really want to. I guess I could have force pitch brainstorm, which might have been better. All right. Well. So now I just days, days. I could surgical to see what they're doing. But I want to hold this because if we get if we get nab a uh, a wish with this, then we just win the game. Not putting surgical on top seems loose. What do you mean? Oh, to flip. You're right. You're right. I was I was so I was so like focused on what's going on here that I now my delver's not gonna flip. You're right. That's okay though. Cut the man off. Okay. So now this doesn't flip because I messed up. So I'm an idiot. And I think the card underneath it's a land too. I, to tell you the truth, I actually don't know. I was I was focused on what I was doing there. I'm going to play this uh, Graph Digger's Cage and then just pass the turn. <clears throat> just cut off all the uh, all the Past and Flames lines. 
And then our goal is to just count our living wish and then surgical it, because then they can't do anything else <clears throat> this game. They can't beat us. So <clears throat> Okay. They find their one rev that could get us, but disgusting Grafdiggers art. It's what we go with, my friend. It's what the old, the greatest give us, card hoarder. You gotta make something happen here, opponent. If we'd have flipped our Delver, then we could have shut off his Ancient Tomb, which could be important. So we had a turn. That player may copy it and choose new targets for it. So, like, if they go cantrip I could just surgical like a way to for them to gain mat I, I, this is like I just I have no idea what's going on here because like it's just like this is a very weird kind of magic that I have not done a lot of experience this deck so I could just surgical like one of their ways to make mana right here I don't have double surgical force. Oh, I get it as well? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I didn't realize that was both players got that. Whenever a player. Okay, you're right. So now we're off. Now we're good. So now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna force both of these. This one goes here. That one's going here. That one's going there. I've never played against this card before, so it's kind of cool to see. See it at least. Figure out what it's doing. Huh. You learn something every match. I played that one a little loose. Like I should have, um, I should have obviously put my surgical on top of my deck, so my delver flipped. Um, not knowing that was both players, maybe a little like was a little loose. So I haven't played it that much, but yeah, it was a bit bit nervous. Uh, I mean, I think I've got to keep his hands. I have brains. Yeah, Sam's fine. I've got brainstorm double days wasteland. Sam be nuts on the play, but such is life. Sam's not as good now because they're gonna take a brainstorm. <clears throat> Pretty sure this is a depth deck. I'm not sure if I want to waste them or wait for. To see what the hell was going on. No, that made sense. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to cast Wasteland and pass. Or put, play Wasteland Go. Because they can, like, they can 2020 me through a daze. Yeah, I'm just going to play this and pass. Then I can go Young Pyromancer with a Daze up if I don't have to Wasteland. Like, this lets them Wasteland me, but if they Wasteland me, they're not 2020-ing me. Oh, so is this like a this is like OG lands with the Joker Bug? But they have the Urborg, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. I could have wasted the Urborg also. 
which would cut out the dark depths to make mana. That sucks. Okay. Now we take another threat. <clears throat> they probably should have done that in the opposite way, right? So that you could get another thing with the Inquisition. Or get like get another card off if you're trying to push me off the elf. This matchup should be where should be a good one for Bob. Because like I I have a very minute amount of cards that matter. Okay, so they have a wasteland. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you got it, dude. Can't do anything. They only have two cards. Probably take my stifle. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Play out a Delvery Boy. Hopefully this thing flips. Come on, Delver. Uh, no, it's a young Pyromancer, though. Which I think is okay. It's just like yeah, flipping that, like playing Delver, like drawing the young Pyromancer is, I don't know, maybe it's bad. But like, it's it's like adding more to the clock. You have to obviously have to use mana for it, but if have to tap two lands for it, excuse me. We'll take that. <clears throat> this is an odd game. All right, that's a draw. Probably waste off or go off of our underground sea because our, all of our other mana lands make black because of Urborg. I kind of just want to put both of these like put back Day's Lightning Bolt then play land, play Bob. Then I'm likely just shuffling. I could also like wasteland this Urborg and then our dazes get turned on. I kind of like that. They're so gonna put back land. I can put back land Bob or land Bolt or land Spell Pierce, probably land Bolt. Play Bob, waste their Urborg, and then if they go land, if they try to make a 2020 via, well, I want to keep my bolt in. So I'm actually, I'm actually just going to go like this. I'm going to play Bob, and I'm going to waste this Urborg. No, that's got to be loose. Wait. 
then it's like stupid of me to leave this untapped, but like such is life. And I'm cracking my I'm gonna crack my fetch line in my upkeep. There's a lot of like uncertainty here for me because like this is just tough magic. This is where the bob should shine though, because it just sits here. Hit this herb org. Okay. And now, if our opponent puts Vampire Hex Mage on the stack, we double, double days, put whatever, seven power in play. Mox Diamond Ditch, play Vampire Hex Mage. They still can't play, no, they can still play Hex Mage and kill me here. Well, I'm going to have to ditch a card. If their land's exactly, if their hand is exactly Dark Depths, Hex Mage, then I think I'm dead. Then we have to daze this. I can't beat Dark Depths, Hex Mage. If I daze here, they pay. Daze here, they pay again. I just played it, okay? Sylvan Library. I think that's okay. Because I think we're going to be able to end this game before that really matters. Okay, so there's Dark Depths. I'm going to fetch. Get another Valk. Real Lightning Bolt. Okay. Huh. Ironically, our opponents, if we had dazed, our opponent would have been dead. They still need to have land. They need land. Um, oh, there's that screen stage. That'll do as well. Man, that's a tough one to lose. <clears throat> that is a tough one to lose. I guess I gotta draw my fourth bolt. No, I just still just kill them because I attack. Derp, derp, I'm stupid. I'm stupid, chat. We got it. We got it. I was like, oh my god, my creatures can't attack for anything. We're good. We're good anyways. <clears throat> I, I kept thinking to myself like, oh, if they make the 2020, they just win. Well, they don't actually win on the spot. Derp. So we're going to bring in this Abrade because sometimes they turn into like a Pithing Needle control deck. Cut a Fork Bolt. Um, spell Pierce on the Draw is kind of medium. True Name's a little slow. And I cut like eight days. Probably could cut more days over True Name Nemesis, to be honest. I kind of want to keep my lightning bolts because, like, sometimes they have Bob and they can just steal games like that. All right, this is what we're going to do. Whew. Stressful magic. I'm losing my mind all over the place. All right, this hand is, it's not that great, but this is an answer to Merit Lage, and I have a Force and maybe a Stifle.
I have to force a discard spell on one. Okay, I'm going to keep it. Yeah, I mean, this is what I said. I had to force a discard spell on one with this hand. And just hope that they don't go land. Um, then I'll go Dark Depths Hex Mage right here. All right. All right, while that stifle is nice, I think I've just got to get this into play and hope they don't go like Abrupt Decay into Mega 2020. Well, they have the Abrupt Decay half of it all set up. Do they have the 2020 half set up? Nope. Okay. Well, that wastes my Underground C. Now I'm kind of up shit creek without a paddle. Oh, they're just going to waste and then waste. Okay. Let's draw. At least we can stifle the wasteland. I just play this Delver. Hope to draw a land. No, I'm gonna stifle this wasteland. It's very interesting to, to copy the wasteland and then not use it. Another land would be nice. Come on. <sighs> and maybe it's right for me to play my Delver and not play Scared. I don't know. Play some interactive magic, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, well, now I'm just going to daze this. Just to make it so they can't take my stifle and then wasteland me. Yes, sets me back a turn, but now, now I at least play the Delver. I'm already an hour into my stream. This is only the second match. All well, these games are grindy. And now my hand's showing, so like I'm just going to play the Delver. Get wastelanded and hope my opponent has nothing. That's basically where we're at. Another Urborg. Okay. Play a Tyler's Tracker. Crop rotation. Okay. And they're just going to make it. And I don't have an out to that. Yep. Yep. I yield. 
because I can't draw Diabolic Edict and cast it next turn. And maybe I played that too scared, and it like cost me that game. I want my Daisies on the play. Probably don't need these. These won't get worse in the fight. My Spell Pierce is also get better on the play. I probably can just trim bolts like this. Maybe a braid's not worth having in, but like, so that pithing needle really messes with you. But I can just daze it when I'm on the play. <clears throat> Excuse me. I appreciate all the follows are coming in. Uh, I keep it muted so that it doesn't sound weird on my YouTube videos. So, like, I, sometimes I miss them. But, like, Alex, Skill Bobs, uh, Zach Canner, I appreciate all you guys. All right. Sounds nice. We might brainstorm on two to flip Delver. But, like, in, you know, in the, in the world of Abrupt Decay, that might be a little loose. And days anything I get the chance to days here. That counts. Alright, come on, Delver. You know you want to. Yeah, you do, baby. Oh, I love me a good days this, flip my Delver to a stifle. That's gotta be just about as good as it gets. I think I'm gonna end a turn brainstorm because I would like to find uh, a Delver plus one more uh, Sylvan Library. I think I can outpace this. I'm gonna daze right now because our brainstorm right now because I'm going to daze anyways. Okay. When I put both of these back. I will likely need one of them, but after I use my fetch land, the second one won't be as good. And I think I'm just going to make Bob. Attack, play Bob. Because Bob's going to be nuts here because it's going to draw me a million cards. They can waste me, but whatever. This is where Bob's nice. Because, like, Bob's not going to die here. You know, he's just going to sit and play. And, uh, chill. How's it going, Alex, kid? We're naked, but, like, I don't really know what exactly... I mean, like, with an Edict, I don't think my opponent can kill me here. My dog is snoring up a storm over here. Yeah. When drawing two cards a turn, we'll, we'll take that. What do we draw? Draw days. Draw stifle. Attack. Then we're just not going to tap mana. I might stifle a wasteland here just so that I can double days something. Okay, you can have you can have two bayous. They said not like double decay. They still can't double decay unless they play two lands. Yeah, this is where the Bob is just so nice. I've really been impressed with this card in this deck. Because, like, it's just so good against all these combo decks. Yeah. Blows my clock down, but such is life. Okay. I want to just brainstorm again because I still want to hold up everything here. Like, this is loose, but, like, I just want to have all of my mana available, I think. Hmm. 
Like I'm gonna I should have stacked those differently. That was that was loose. Bad on my part. I just have so much going on that I just want all of my mana untapped at all times. I'm gonna play this Pyromancer because if my opponent gets into a fight with me, then they're just gonna die on their untap. We still have double days. We still have uh one days and a stifle up. So it was stupid of me to show my cards that way. I guess maybe it wasn't that bad because, like, I show the Pyromancer, play the Pyromancer, and it's not like they're going to beat me by inches. They're going to kill me in one shot if they kill me. What I really want to happen is to... Well, Bob on itself is a slower clock than Delver, and, like... I'm not sure they can beat anything else. You know what I mean? What I need to make sure doesn't happen here is if I go to Edict to 2020 that I don't get got by like a freaking crop rotation for a Dryad Arbor. I kind of want to stifle this. I'm not going to be able to use my stifle. So I think I've got two of them. I'm just going to stifle this to make another token. All right. Sir, you have a 2020 and I have a dive. All right, flip fours. And we don't have a nine that kills us. We like we have we have a seven, which is our Gurmag Angler. This is what the Bob's just so nice in this matchup. I'm gonna grab some water, I'll be right back. Put the deck list up here. No. No barking, Philly. No barking. No. No barking. Yeah, it kind of like playing this deck, playing the other Grixis decks that I've been playing, they remind me more of like Jund. And I don't really want to play Jund. I want to play... Um... Um... I wanted to play... Like... A more low-to-the-ground like rug deck. It plays on lower resources. So that's how I kind of like Stifle. I like that aspect of this deck. Oh, man. <clears throat> I was just reading Facebook chat. Uh, I'm getting trolled in for my for my moron my, a my moron, moron plays. And um, my the cho the choice of dark confidant that I am, but hang on, let me. Uh, so I appreciate y'all showing up, and hanging out. My name's Dylan. I'm part of the Card Hoarder Network. Um, 
if you have Magic Online needs, you should check out Card Hoarder. Card Hoarder just started a loan pro a loan uh, service. It's very cheap and competitive. So you check that out. Uh, if you missed part of the stream, you should head over to YouTube. I just got over 100,000 views on YouTube, which is awesome. So I'm trying to get 1,000 subscribers. So the best way to support me is to go over to YouTube and subscribe, which is all linked below as it's free. Um, MTG Corner is a site that I write at once a week, so you should check them out. If you want to interact with me on Twitter, I usually tweet about magic, my dog. My dog's pretty cute, so it's worth it. All right, let's get back to the match here. I would like to play first. Playing against the old, the old big cheat, Mr. Ward himself. Okay, so this hand's not great. I think I'm going to mulligan. This hand's better. And I will keep this hand. I will put this on top. Um, I'm going to play... I'm going to play the Meyer. Because like there's a chance that I want the days, but there's a chance I don't want the days depending on what they're playing. Like if they're playing like that, I've seen this guy play like a veteran explorer deck. Okay, so against the basic island, I think I want the days. Or at least I'm fairly certain I want the days. I think he's playing Sneaking Shell. I'm just going to pierce this. No, I'm not. I don't want to pierce the Sneaking Shell. At least I think that's what he's doing. Pierce a sneak attack, excuse me. I'm going to end a turn brainstorm. Because we have a fetch land, we can like do it perfectly. We need to find a threat to play. All right, let's get rid of this. Fetching my upkeep. We have the TNN, which is like is a threat. It's pretty scary. Just jamming Nemesis. I hit a brainstorm now, so I kind of want to hold. I want to find a one mana threat. I noticed you kind of drifted to standard legacy recently and didn't do a lot of shadow. Well, modern's just kind of atrocious at the moment. It's just not very much fun. And I would like to qualify. I would like to qualify for the quarterly events. I'm gonna brainstorm because I would like to hit a one mana threat here. I'd like to find a Delver. All right. I'm going to shuffle away the spell pierce, I think. Because I want, I need the threat. So let me go put this deck here, put this here. We can stifle this land if we, if we get so frisky. Get out of my face. I'm going to fetch in my upkeep. So the land's not good. The pierce isn't that good. The pierce is all right. The problem is his true nemesis isn't good. That's what's killing me. I could have dazed right there to mess up his force of will. So maybe I was just supposed to shuffle away this TNN. Phil. Philly. Hey. Yeah, I'm going to fetch in my upkeep. All right, we have two dazes and a force of will. We got to get on the board. So 
say. I had a feeling that, though, I wanted to believe more qualified people playing Shadow. I wanted to believe more. I guess feels awesome, though. I might get into it if I do. It's your fault. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Shadow's, Shadow's fun to play, but, like, Modern just is not. All right, I'm going to force and pitch this daze. If they go to counter this, then I can daze, then hopefully draw a blue card. No, I'm not going to play modern tonight. I need I need two more points. They pitch another force will. Okay, I need two more points to be qualified for the legacy event. I have no hand. Attack. And I would like to qualify for the Legacy Quarterly event. That resolves. And likely kills me. But they might not have it. You never know. I doubt that they would show and tell in, or just cast show and tell if they were going to put this in. Yep, you got it, sir. They attack me for seven. They get to draw seven cards, which is gas. Yeah, Modern just, like, doesn't do it for me at the moment, which, that's just the nature of the beast. Oh, yeah, he's got Mentors after sideboard. Okay, we're just attacking, like, there's not really much I can do anyways. Oh, that's not bad. All right, well, I will just pay for this. Pay for it again. Get another counter spell. All right, put both of these back. I think I'm just going to attack with this. Whatever. I mean, if he puts in a, a Gristle Brand to block here, then if he puts in a Gristle Brand to block. Maybe this was loose. For this reason, but because now he has a free look at seven more cards on their turn. Okay. It's got it. <clears throat> All right. So we get a little worse in this matchup because we, we just decided to like forego discard for the stifles. But like the stifles are very good. So surgical's good. Um edicts are good. Pyroblast is good. Cards that are not great. Fork Bolt and True Name. I'll cut two bolts. Surgical Extraction might not be great, but like if you can ever surgical like a show and tell or a sneak attack, it's just so good. I have to worry about Monastery Mentor, which he plays. All right. I have a Delver and a Force. Like, if I draw a Cantrip, we're in good shape. Even though the land isn't bad, like, 
I can't have I can't have happened what happened to me last game, especially when I've got interaction. We just delve her to flip to a cantrip. Okay, that works as well. So just attack. Now we have a little insect that could. I also have two, I think I have like three modern leagues up on my YouTube channel. I just stifle the first land that I get the chance to. I just have to use my spells. It's actually not a bad draw if if, if he's on the um the whatever it is plan, the mentor plan. It appears that he is not. Force this. Rut row. Put in Gurmag. Put in an Amber Cool. One of those is better than the other one. We've actually, because we have the Stifle, we've got we got him covered if he attacks. Or we can just do that. All right, I'm gonna surgical to see what's in the hand. I'm gonna take out this Force of Will. Okay. I want to take out the force because what I want to do is edict and attack. And then we beat whatever he's got going on here. <clears throat> and then we just bolt them. Does not have the mentors in. Because now they can just, whatever, you can show and tell in whatever he wants now, as long as he doesn't rip sneak attack. I just don't, I like the reason why I targeted force because I don't want this to get forced. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right, because force is a dead draw. Yep. Nope, that's, a, that's, that's good on you. Because force didn't do anything. No, you're 100% right. Good thinking there, greatness at any cost. And we're just going to submit. I don't think anything changes. Yeah, thanks, Jay. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you all being here. Yeah, I will appreciate my opportunity at a new six. Because this one is not good. I just drew the nut shadow hand. I'm just sitting here with my cards. Of two fetch lands, two shadows, street ray thoughtsies. Just the stones. Looks like he's got a close one. If any of these if these two wastelands were any other land, I'd just snap his hand off.
So you keep flicking your cards and that's how. Yeah, just like flicking them around. All right, so it's pretty good. We have Delver on one. And that's what we're looking for. His sideboarding might change on the play, like might have like Blood Moon in his deck. Another Delver is nice, especially if this one flips. All right, you're going to go off on two through a daze, then like good on you, Mr. Ward. Come on, Delver. Come on, Delver. You know you want to. Yeah. Yeah, you do, Delver. My little Delverino. Now we have double days and uh, spell pierce up. Okay. I'm not going to spell pierce this. Even though I could, I want to make him commit mana. Kick this around so we can do the Delver Scry trick. I will reveal that, and I think I will shuffle it away. We did not shuffle into a good one. Just going to play this land out. Force of will. Okay. So I'm going to fight over this because if we fight over this, then this ancient tomb gets turned off. And then like they can't, they can't use this next turn. And, like, effectively, we just traded three cards for three cards and wastelanded them off two mana. Or wastelanded Mr. Mr. Big Back Cheater here. Why does Grixis Delver run red and not just go blue black? Because playing Delver without Lightning Bow is obnoxious. All right. Just send them cheers my way. I love. I don't play Legacy, so I don't know how much of a format. We know a bit because I play Popper. Yeah. Well, isn't Lightning Bolt and Popper, right? Like, the best deck right now is Blue Black Delver because it's better than the Mirror, but like, isn't Blue Red Delver usually better? And like just playing Delver and being able to get over the hump is so important. Like there are so many times where I've just like I'm playing against like Grixis control or like blue white control or something like that. Or even like a mirror where I'm ahead, I'm ahead, I'm ahead, but like the game is starting to fall out of my favor and I just like attack. So 
my friend Lawrence was playing Dark Confidant in his uh, in the sideboard of his Delver deck for a little while, and then this guy uh, named Chad Harney, who I have his Twitter up here. He's a part of uh, Team Nova. Is it Chad Hardy? It's Chad. God, I'm so bad at names. Okay. So, greatness in chat. There, I just saw. Uh, he, he just built this deck with four bobs and, spell, and stifles. So, like, I think four bobs is aggro, but... I liked what he was doing, and I've, I've, I've found a lot of success with this deck. This is a mulligan. This, deck doesn't, this hand doesn't beat anything. This hand beats more things. That card doesn't beat anything. And I played this deck this morning, and I went 9-1. and one. I went 8-2, eight, I went uh, eight and two, excuse me. Then I had 3-2 to league, and now we're 3-0 in this league. So this list is not of my creation. But Bob is pretty awesome. Like, it just sits there against the combo decks. And it, because they, they never kill it. And it just draws a million cards. Like, it's like the controly decks. It's just a bomb. Because of Bob, or I don't, I don't understand. There. Uh, Rafi. There, Riff Raff. God, I'm going to stifle the shit out of a fetch land right here. God, what a bastard. Alright, well now we're gonna run out this uh this young this young pizzle. Well, I've been struggling a lot lately. Like I've just been doing a lot of losing. Like I've probably been, I've probably like in the recent weeks been like I don't know, sub Close to 500 or sub 500 with Delver decks. Maybe that's because on Moto they're like hostile to Delver decks. But like bringing Stifle back into the game is a lot of help. Yeah, so this is greatness at any cost is the guy that I got my list from, essentially. Like whatever, 70 of the 75, I think. Strip mine, you are right, J Baseball. Strip mine is a pure upgrade. I'm gonna force this. And we're gonna ditch this true name nemesis. And then I'm gonna waste them and hopefully stifle another land. Don't count on this. You bastard. Alright, at least I still have a 1-1. One -one. They only have two cards. And they ditched the Ponder, which is like a better card than what I ditched. Till now we drew our necessary lands to get your name nemesis. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about vintage. But see, now we're going to get this land. All right, there's a Bob. And Bob's great in this matchup. A slow, grindy matchup. We can Because neither of us have any resources right now. Accumulated knowledge, you got it. They just draw one off that. Okay, so it looks like they just drew a Miracle. I don't like this card. You play Stifle. You play. Oh man. You play Therapy, even though, like, you don't have all the probe shenanigans. Q 
accumulated knowledge. You got it. You draw two off of that. I'm going to hit a planes. Oh, my stomach's rumbling. I am hungry. Your therapy god. Everyone's good at something. <clears throat> All right. Stifle's not looking great right now. But, I mean, we had to force a will on a mulligan. All right. My opponent is accumulating knowledge. His little elemental is going to get there. Oh, my God. Three's company, baby. You got it. Yeah, that is, that is like not a good swords, but you know, I'm not playing their deck. God, please fetch. Nice. I can, yes. You are speaking real news, Rafi. So regardless of whatever happens this turn, we're not getting jaced, and my opponent just got brainstorm locked. All right, I mean, they're already through two plows, so, like, whatever. Yeah, third plow. I guess Snapcaster also does it. That does it, too. Fine. So they're still brainstorm locked. Oh, they had another land. There's, oh, they did play another land. All right. Both teams played hard. Yeah. I mean, but I have to play it there, right? Okay. So Pyroblasts, Bitter Blossom. These are maybe. These come out. This comes out. I, I don't wonder if my stifles aren't that good against. I guess it still hits terminus. I'm always torn on whether I'm supposed to bring these in or not. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna cut a bolt. I'm just going to do this. <clears throat> We're playing against Miracles. Yeah. Something I like about this matchup is after sideboarding is like you go down to like 15 lands. And sometimes you get those hands where you just draw seven cards you don't have any lands. But... If you if you get lands you can operate, you just draw you like outdraw them. Wow, this is a million lands, but we have a brainstorm. So we're good. We're just gonna play a underground C. I will like stifle slash spell pierce anything. Their opponent just have a miracle. We're just going to pass because, like, I don't really want to play a Delver even if I find it here. I do want to brainstorm at the end of the turn, though. Okay. Probably can shuffle back this Bolt and a Land. We want to be able to Spell Pierce. So, fetching our upkeep. Maybe I should, I probably should have fetched, should have shuffled away the surgical. Like, while that will likely be good at some point, it's not right now. Okay. I can surgical that. That 
at some point, which will be nice. Leave like one left in their deck. Spell pierce that. I just don't want to deal with this thing. Maybe I should have gotten rid of one of those. Okay. I mean, I guess we just put Brainstorm on top, Pyromancer second, and we just pass. Yeah. <laughs> Bitter Blossom take the wheel. <laughs> Carrie Underwood approves. I think I just run out Pyromancer here because we, we can deal with a Terminus. But that might be loose. I'm going to sit on Pyromancer, I think, for one more turn. Like, I don't think we have to jam. We've got, like, we got our next our opponent's next couple plays lined up. Okay, I'm going to Surgical this Accumulated. And I'm going to leave one left in their deck, I think. We also get to see what they do. So let's take this. Do we want to leave one left in their deck? And how long do we think this game's going to go? I mean, even if they have that draw, it's better than nothing. So I think we probably just want to surgical all of them. Because now they just pay a man at a cycle, which isn't that good. Yeah. Because if they ever draw it, it's, it's just great for them. But what happened? Oh, this is what they drew? I couldn't stifle it? That's all right. I like, clicked through. I wasn't paying attention. Tilt. All right, so if they get cute, we're going to brainstorm lock them. All right, you can have that. So this is gone. I don't know what they're looking to accomplish with this, because even if they let this go, are they going to do jam a three drop into a daze? You're going like, to mentor me, bro? It would be nice to have two more fairies right now. Three copies? Okay. The question here is, do I stifle again? And I think I do. Like, we know they have a Jace. Yeah, I'm going to stifle again. This also locks them. Oh, they had another one? What a tilt. I just got level. Just got absolutely leveled, son. <clears throat> well, so we know that they have this. Somewhere in their setup. But like they just brainstorm. So like we know that this is somewhere in their top set of cards. I guess I ran this into a plow, which isn't good. I guess I'm actually just kind of playing into my opponent's hand, which is a little loose. Okay. I'm hoping they just play into this, but they're not going to. All right, I think I'm going to brainstorm. I 
because they haven't fetched yet. So we know that they still have these in their hand. I have so much mana though that I can just wait. I cannot get fluster storms. So I don't really need this. I guess this days is still good. I probably should ponder. Okay. All these cards are pretty solid, but we know about these. So, like, we can draw Gurmag, play Gurmag, or we can we can draw Gurmag Angler, play Gurmag Angler, and then brainstorm into double days if we need to. Yeah, well, what I'm wondering is if we want to draw a Gurmag Angler as well, but we know they have a Plow, so that's still not that good. So I think in that case, I want to go like this. Also, if we daze, if we take our time with these dazes, then it's going to make our, um, it's going to make our brainstorm better because we're going to just be lower on lands. Them drawing that land is so nice. I feel like now I need to fetch and brainstorm. Because I think this is their exact holdings. Like, I have to fetch and brainstorm, probably. Look to hit either a third daze, which I would throw up at, or a force. Okay. So let's put the Gurmag on top. Could hit a stifle, yeah. Maybe the angler's bad because of Jace, but if they play Jace, we have two fairies that can get in there. And I want to like over delve a little bit. Like I want to be able to recast this easily. So we'll like leave a little bit in there. <clears throat> Don't hit another turn. Okay. Whew. Okay. Get rid of this. We need a Bob. So they're still sitting on a Jace. And I think they still have a sort of plow. Alright, let's start by attacking. I don't really want to brainstorm yet because, like, yeah, I don't think I want to brainstorm yet because, like, I'm likely going to be able to bounce a land back into my hand, which will make my brainstorm better. And I'm not committing to the board anymore. Council's judgment. What do I have left? I could brainstorm, look for another force right now. Because clocking it for two a turn isn't going to do it. I think I'm going to look for a force. Let's 
three hits, three cards. I don't actually, I don't think I can. Drawing that land kind of sucks. But I guess now we can brainstorm. Maybe they shuffled away their plow. Okay. I could flip this Delver. I think I'm going to put back Delver. I think I'm going to put back Days and Bob. No, I want Bob next turn. I think we're going to go Days. You're slamming Bob. No way that plow off their council during German Angler. All right. I'll go with you. So let's go like this. I don't think I stacked that right. I always forget to do that with Bob. Because I, I, now I take one more point that I don't have to. Yeah, they must have shuffled away their plow. We also get to blast this Jace. Don't do it, you son of a... Okay. Get blasted, motherfucker. Okay. Hopefully this is a counter spell. It's not. That, that did feel like a Terminus. All right, well, it's going to be a Terminus now. But we get Jace off the board. I'm going to daze anything that I can daze here. I don't even know if I stacked my Delver right, which makes me feel dumb. No, because my Delver's not even flipping because of my Brainstorm. What is this? Did you find a plow? You bastard. You bastard. Attack Jace. Attack Jace. And then I'm just going to play Delver. Like, they fetched. I can't have them going, like, up with Jace. Oh, I should have attacked him. Well, no, I don't know. I guess I do put him dead, and then he just uses his... But then he can just... The problem is that if I attack... Yeah, maybe that's right to do. Because we put him dead. I guess I always get worried about the Planeswalker. Wow, he scooped it up. My Delver wasn't even going to flip. Yeah. All right, we'll take it. So was it right to attack Jace there? They're at five, no cards in hand, play Delver. Yeah. But then if my Delver, my Delver's not flipping. They can just minus, though, and bounce, but then their Jace dies. I don't know. I feel like they can beat, because we know our Delver's not flipping, they can beat the board, right? They can beat me no matter what. All right, let's keep it. Uh, I'm going to keep this hands like pretty medium, but we're gonna definitely going to ponder on turn one. I think, well, we could get, we could get beat up by a counterbalance if we do that. <clears throat> so I'm not going to, geez, no land sucks. <coughs> Arclight Phoenix times three. God, your brain is so big, Rafi.
No, I should ponder. I should have pondered. Should have pondered. Turn off auto yields. Should have pondered, I think. <laughs> There's more of them. All right, I really need this to resolve and find a brainstorm. <clears throat> Bob's not bad. No wonder he can't win. It's good. Get your cycle on, boy. All right, we're going to blast this. And then we're going to get absolutely browned by a... Um, by a back to basics next turn. At least we have so many lands that back to basics might not even be that bad for us. That's a complete joke. Back to basics would be awful. Dangerous to them not cracking this land. So we have a land underneath of this, I think. I think we knew, because we drew this last turn, drew this. Yeah, there's a land here. I think we're just gonna do this. It's kind of weird they didn't do this. Like maybe they're baiting me here, but well, jokes on them. We can beat that because we have so many lands. We have two lands left in our deck. <clears throat> we have one more blast, too. We have, we have one left in the deck. One blast. All right, you you got it, opponent. One, excuse me. We only we're out of Valks though, which isn't good. Yo, an island would be gas. I guess we're gonna be able to daze ourselves a land back at some point in our lives. Oh, we have one more. We have four Valks. Excuse me. I'm just going to play this. Just hope they don't have anything. Dude, the basic land is so... I should have played a land out. It's so bad if you draw it. That might get clicked. We get Snapcaster Maged. Because this, this is just me talking here. This is why this thing is dying. Because I should have played a land to give myself the option to bolt this. And I just didn't because I was chatting. It was not correct of me to do it like this. <clears throat> but at least we get to daze this thing here. I mean, we're pretty dead. <coughs> Oh, yeah. We have one more blast we can draw. Don't jace me, bro. Nice. So each of these have one more land I can get.
I have one more red source. Is it better to do this off my black source? It probably is. It's like Bob versus Blast. One, two, one. I, I guess keeping my black source is actually better. So, because like we can hit Bitter Blossom. And we have one more we can fetch. So, don't do it. God, this feels so bad. You bastard. You bastard. I don't know if it's technically right to force that, but like we're kind of in the situation where I need to find a I need to find either like a dark confidant. But now if I play a two drop, I can't play magic the rest of the game. So like I'm just dead. Right? Like I had to play Bitter Blossom and then have them never kill the Bitter Blossom in order to win. Okay. I'm going to take about one more draw step here, I think. And we're going to call it. And I'll take more than one. I guess I'll go until they find a way to kill me. Which, like, shouldn't be hard. They'll find it eventually. <clears throat> Who knows? We might just spike our blast. But my opponent seems to be pretty good. So like I don't think they're gonna let them let this back to basics get blasted. Especially with the counterbalance in play. Just pass. I mean, they just beat me to death with the Snapcaster Mage, also. Which losing the Snapcaster beats is like. It feels pretty bad. All right, test spell, brainstorm. Okay. Wow, got it. So we'll try again next turn. Next turn, we get four looks at a back to basics and hoping, or four looks at a blast and then hoping they don't have it. I think we've only got how many in the deck here? Two. Oh god. Oh god. That probably like literally kills me. Because like what I take five. I take two here, I have to fetch. Yeah, I'm just dead. Because I have to fetch in order to like win the game. Alright. Let's get this last one so I can qualify for that freaking uh, whatever it is. The quarterly event. I need to win one more.
I appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out today. I don't know if I'm going to do more. Um, GG's. There, Bardiff. Were you, were you the Miracles player that just whooped on me? <clears throat> yep. Yep. Yeah, that was close. Oh, yeah, I think I... Yeah. I think I had to blast where I did, but... You just got me. You win some, you lose some, ladies and gentlemen. All right. For the Cinco de Ma for the 4-1, for, for the qualification, I'm going to keep this hand. If we're playing against a combo deck, this hand's really good. If we're playing against a fair deck and draw land, this hand's really good. It's not good here. I like the Delver side of the matchup because I think after well, – I lose game one a lot because my Wastelands don't do anything. But, like, after I go down to 15 lands, I'm a fan. I kind of think I have to force this. They ditched one of these. They have another one. Yeah, dude, we're just going to, like, get this – get this out of here. Because you, you know they got it rolled up. That's a nice draw. But we're going to play Delver like I'm a dog I'm a pretty serious dog game one and game one I think but I think I'm pretty I think I'm ahead in game two and three but not as bad as I'm down two games anyways and it's hard to beat any deck two times in a row off your sideboard tilt tilt I should play three. I think I should play three blasts just because, like, I don't know. I hate Flusterstorm. I keep, like, I keep, like, underperforming because, like, where I want it against, like, the Storm decks, I still end up losing. Waste me. Sorry, I'm going to waste you and neither of us will have any lands. And then we can play this game. is interesting. Suggests they want their lands to stay around. Like, are they they need mana? Alright. We'll flip two a days. Attack you. Hey, hey. Don't be licking don't be licking your stitches, Phil. My dog just got neutered. And he's just sitting there like licking himself. So, I can get beat here. So, Okay, so I think the reason why they're not wasting me is because they have crop rotation. So then I'm going to upkeep waste this by you, I think. Hmm. Okay. I'll daze anything here just to return my land. Okay. Opponent smartly did not give me the chance to. So my opponent's kind of far off from going off. I mean, we're, we, we're not doing anything, but like, they need to make two land drops. That's not one of them. Well, that still counts as one of them. It's unfortunate that we cannot play Gurmag Angler. Because they would at least be boltable next turn. I'm going to bra definitely brainstorm into turn. Daze anything. Okay. Didn't get the opportunity to daze anything. Oh, wow. Let's put this back. Let's put this back. Put Angler on top. And I think I'm going to daze. Because 
if they crack their fetch land for crop rotation, they're still like, I don't know. I think I'm just going to daze just because I don't want to get wastelanded. And they could like crack this. Like I might as well just do something. They're going to take my days. And then I'm going to play Gurmag. And then just like, you know, make them have it. And if they don't got it, they're dead. If they do got it, I'm dead. We know we have a dead draw. All right, dude, show me the money. Herborg. Vampire Hexmage as a blocker. Okay, I think we win now. Because we get in and then they can't block out of it next turn. Yeah, nice. Gas. Okay. So, Edict, Bitter Blossom, and a Braid is where we want to be. Um, Fork Bolt, No Bueno. Days on the Draw is pretty crap. True Name's kind of slow. And, like, Spell Pierce is kind of slow, but Spell Pierce is better than Days, probably. Do I want to cut all four of my Days on the Draw? I like leaving in lightning bolts because, like, sometimes you just have to, like, attack, like, like attack them nuts and then, like, bolt them out of the game. I don't know. Let me, let me keep one of these. I'll keep, I'll keep one days in. Because sometimes days is nice against, like, the Urborg, um, whatever it is, draw. Like, the Urborg into 2020 draw. Or Morgan, uh, whatever, Hex Mage. Okay. All right, I mean, we got a Delver. This is what I feel like my life is sometimes. I don't think I can play it, unless I hit Days. Yeah. We're just going to wait. Because, like I said, they have the setup of... Play the twenty, make twenty twenty on two. Oh, so we need a force. Didn't find. We have our own, which might be able to do something. The Skirmag Angler is pretty bad. The Skirmag Angler might be good in the face of a of a of like a you know whatever a an, a do off here. I think these two are my worst cards. I want to keep all my threats because I'm going to need all of them. I think to get to get ahead of this Bitter Blossom. Like the bolt might be able to finish this out if we go for a long game. I'm fetching here because I don't want to draw the edict. We're gonna need like a Bob to win this game, I think. Just because we're so far, like, like we're just gonna stall out. I think my opponent plays that game better than I do, though I have one, two true name nemesis in my deck. Double Bitter Blossom, okay. That's gross. Oh, we can actually shuffle these two things away. 
One, two, three, four. Yeah, and Gurmag. Yeah, we can't. Even though that Wasteland would be nice, we can't draw two really bad cards for the sake of one. And then I'm just attacking. I think I'm attacking with everything for like the rest of the game. Because I need to like I want to put like maximum pressure on my opponent. Though they're up one Bitter Blossom token on me. So I, I need to find a true nemesis. I basically want to race because their deck is full of like thought seizes. And they're taking to a turn. You get a dark depths, okay. Show me that hex mage. I guess I can start stifling these triggers to start to get ahead, I guess, but that doesn't seem like a winning proposition. Well, I guess what I can do is I can stifle some of these triggers and then bolt a blocker and get in with Gurmag Angler. But I don't think we need to do that yet. You find a Trunian Nemesis. I think I want to race too. Like I'm not looking to um, play a slow game. Okay. I need to fetch in my upkeep because we don't want those two lands. True name. All right, I mean, Delver is pretty bad. I th I'm just going to, I'm just like attacking every turn with everything. Then I'm going to play a Delver. I think I'm going to stifle these triggers this turn. What do they do? They take block, block, take one. No. Especially considering they don't pay the life until it resolves, I think. Yeah. I guess I just need to hope they kill themselves to their Bitter Blossom before they kill me. And I think with a Lightning Bolt, I've got a shot at that. Maybe they should decay their own Bitter Blossom. Come on, Delver. No, sad. And I think I'm just attacking. I'll hold the Delver back because the Delver represents um, more, more like it, more than one. Like it can be a routine chump blocker. Like I mean, it can survive multiple things. I think I'm going to waste. I guess I can just hold my waste until my opponent wastes. I mean, we're going to win this race because of Lightning Bolt. And like, if we just flip Lightning Bolt here, then my opponent is dead. <clears throat>
Okay. All right. <clears throat> so my opponent's going to deal four. They're going to go to three. So we kill them on our turn. Unless they destroy one of their bitter blossoms. I'm going to waste the dark depths, I think, just to create like a fight where I can stifle this wasteland, bolt them, make two tokens. Sorry, I'm going to text my wife. Because, like, if we can just create a stack, that just means that I get more um, elementals. Just make something happen. I don't know. Been an odd game. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I hold back. They have to decay this. But now these go on the stack. We bolt them. We can force their play. Yes. Awesome. So now I am qualified for the legacy event. The legacy quarterly. Because I've got 35 and 39. Whew. That's awesome. Um, I guess thinking with the list, uh, the only other like I think I might want one more blast because it helps with like the the blue enchantments from the miracles decks. But I think for now that's that's gonna um. I could do another one, but like tired. <clears throat> Let's see, I'll turn this off here. Let me 